The next strategy we're going to take a look at is Cobra Euro Currency. Go File, uh, let's see, Tools, Instrument Manager, just like EVP 1 and 2 and 3. If you've seen that video already, if you're just looking at these individually, I'm going to go through the details on each. 6E is the symbol name for the Euro Currency Futures. You want to type that in and click Search. You want to click on that. These are the futures. You want to click Edit. You want to say Merge Back Adjusted. That way on the rollovers, it, it automatically emerges each uh, front month and then back adjust it so you have a continuous contract to work with. You want to make sure that this is in your default list. You push this arrow here. I've, it's already in mine. But you want to see this one. You also want to do the continuous contract and click it. Make sure it's over here in your, your sim instrument list. If not the default, you can have one. You can have another instrument list as well. But I want to create that, and then you want to click OK. Then you want to go File New Chart, and then you're going to create this chart for the continuous contract. And it's going to be a 15-minute chart. And you're going to go back. Let's go back three years on this. We're going back three years on all these. We're using kinetic data and uh, 2008 instrument settings we're going to use the stock index U CME US index features regular trading hours and we're going to go um, basically this is a there's a lot of correlation has been a lot of correlation between the euro currency and the uh, stock index features so I've, t I've tested some counter trend strategies covers one of them and it did did really well so I've applied this and it's on a 15 minute chart in the last 18 months it's done great I use a, a chart template you don't have this black background because I've created it on my end but what you'll see is the default uh, candlestick with a white background you can create a template it's easier for me to view um, with the black background and green bars so that's what I've created when you create your chart like I'm creating now, what you can do is you to create this template, you can go to uh, properties and you can play with all these all these uh, chart properties and chart. Uh, let's see, there's other things you can do chart chart properties and um, I forgot where that's at, but you can also set up the, the instrument, the intervals, the way it's set up under the data series as well. Uh, the, the chart style, open, high, low, close, color for down bars, lime, color for up bars, lime, and then session break line, red, one pixel, dotted, red, and then uh, when you when you do that, uh, you will you'll be able to go to uh, templates and then save as, and then you can create a default template or create a template such as I did. I call mine black background, and you will you'll always be able to pull that up. So we created the chart. The uh, session is still. Um, let's see. We need to also change this. Did not load our CME stock index regular trading hours. We need to do that. CME US index features regular trading hours. Apply that to double check that. Sometimes it doesn't always load, and you get that. And then you push the control bar and the up arrow to or down arrow to expand this chart out and to decrease the thickness of the bars you push the alt up arrow and so now we've got 15 minute charts of the euro currency which matches the day session you can see more gaps because of the overnight moves like you would in the day session of stock and in, stock index futures uh, to add the strategy you right click you just right click anywhere on here go strategies and you go cap cobra euro double click on it and then you'll all of my strategies are um, they start with cap as in capstone trading systems all of my input exit times are set to eastern standard time so if you're in a different time zone you'll always need to adjust these to your your time zone uh, so for example if you're central time you subtract an hour from each one of these time inputs 1500 1500 830 10 o'clock, 1100, 1400, and these always go down to the seconds as well. That's why there's two extra zeros. And so you'll need to set this up for your time zone. If you're in a time zone that's uh, different than Central Standard Time, just calculate the difference between 
uh, your time zone in, in, in Eastern Standard Time and add or subtract that those number of hours to these inputs. You'll always need to select true and then you apply that. And click close. You can see here uh, strategy performance, historical. Pull that in here. 19640 the last three years. This was designed based on the last 18 months of price action. So 69.62.50 drawdown, $51 average profit per trade. The graph looks great starting from August 2001. That's when the market has been, more, this market has been more counter trending in nature. And so we will go back and take a look how it's done since that time. If you want to take a look at how it's done just since August 1st, go in here. 8 1 2009 and then select apply and then close and look at the strategy performance report last 18 months or so it's almost two years actually I keep saying 18 months but August of 2009 is almost two years ago now uh, time flies $22,585 I like to look at it in currency. 97.35 average trade profit, which is huge for a day trade system. The equity curve looks great. And so these are the results you can expect. This is how you set up Cobra Euro currency, a counter trend strategy for the Euro currency futures. If you have any questions on how to set it up, just let me know.